Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ark, where today, I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna go tame the Oasisaur, I do got a mod for it, it does not do breeding or leveling, but what it does is makes it more usable in single player and allows you to feed it berries. So, it basically lowers the timer for the Oasisaur here, and I have had one on the map, on my mind. And since how I did just throw this mod on, I figured we may as well go for it. That's his colors. As you can see, all the Oasisaurs are essentially the same from what I understand. It's more or less their special ability is what you're after. They're more or less all the same except their resources is what is what I'm kind of getting at there. I should have clarified more on like, yo, this is, this is the difference. So, and where the hell are we? I've never seen this before. Oasisaur, where are you taking me? Because I've never been here. Okay. So, we're already set up for this. I got everything for it. It is quite simple. You just have to give him a soul. I've gone for a lightning wyvern soul. But a soul is a soul, guys. Whatever kind of soul you got. Just whatever you have for sale at the time. He's not picky. Now. I really probably... Nope. <laughs> so, technically, I could just sit here and just swing at them, but this is the first wave. It's the easy wave. We should only have to do, like, three, I'm pretty sure. This is probably the safest way to do it. So, taming-wise, we haven't gotten anything yet because we haven't completed a wave. So, it it's based on the waves that you complete. And waves are like how many creatures so I can stand right here and body block or at least chop at it and protect this thing make sure it doesn't get killed and as you can see there we're gonna have to do this three times okay but this should be pretty easy we got the Gaia's embrace we got our fire wyvern also I do believe the mod I got uh, adds in the ability for it to like give you water just by like passively through having the guy as a brace like it refreshes your water or i might have read that from the patch notes in the most recent arc update i can't remember but i'm pretty sure there there there's two options there of like what what's going on here in my head that's one bullet that hit out of that entire barrage we're gonna go machete machete is safest just start swinging They'll, they'll fly into their death. This is probably the safest way to do it, honestly. Just be careful. Make sure you don't die. Make sure you got good armor if you're sitting here with a machete. As you can see, they, they're getting chunks of damage off. But with my taming effectiveness, which, by the way, it's, I believe two times with single player settings turned on i have to really just go make a settings video one of these days that might just be one of the episodes next week like yo arc episode uh 55 uh, i think we've already had arc i don't even know what episode we're on anymore I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i don't know what we're doing i don't know what episode we're on we've been doing this for so long like we had 145 episodes of arc survival evolved this one we're probably going to even have longer because we're playing it from the beginning. And then I even plan on going over and building on the center here when that map releases. Oops, spoiler. But we're not going to go over there until we beat uh, the Manticore. And technically, I have put new rules in place for my series. As of this episode going forward, we will absolutely not be going over to the island for anything until the manticore is defeated that was the original goal and i broke that goal so many times also this is probably a stupid idea to use machete they're 150s <laughs> uh, you know what i think i got this i got this so either way it has zero taming efficiency machete for victory
Okay. This last, this last couple here, and this should do it. This should tame it. Bring it, guys. <laughs> that is us, an oasis all. Nice. I don't think their stats change any in between taming and before. I think it gains a little. It might have gained a little health. Um, I didn't really pay attention too much to itself beforehand. I'm going to be full honest with you guys. But yeah, that's the Oasis Sword. Now, also, did it give me... It gave me... I don't know if this is something to do with the mod, but it gave me the, the Lightning Wyvern. Um, I guess we'll keep you. Welcome. Fire Wyvern. Welcome. Also, hold up. What was that? Oh, this is your uh, inventory here for like reviving creatures. I also believe it's like a behavior thing. Or is there an option here for like resurrecting? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, like, we basically get access to all its resources here. So we get silk, we get thatch, we get crystal, we get metal, and we get wood. That's awesome. This guy gives me some actual useful stuff. I need to, uh, let's unwhistle you. Now, the plan for this guy is he will eventually become my tech base on the island. Or not on the island. On the scorched earth. Sorry. And I don't have a tech base on the island. I just have my epic base with my tech tower actually i do have a tech base i lied i lied to you guys because i have shown you it as well in this series when i've gone over there to break my rules uh i have oh my god this guy looks awesome i have my underwater uh tech base which i use the vacuum chambers for that i built while waiting for arc to come out holy shit this dude is starving Hold up, hold up. He's actively starving to death. I gotta do something here. Hard right, hard right, hard right. Ugh. I think I can have him eat bushes. How do I land? Boom, boom, boom. He's on the ground. Can I have you eat this bush? I gotta go actively steal a bush. Maybe I can cryopod him to get him home. Because I need to keep him alive. And unfortunately, he is actively starving to death. I don't know if that's something to do with my mod or with him. I think that's... Okay, we got to get him home, and uh, make sure we're, damn it, damn it, he's not cryable, we got to get him home quick, okay, we're doing pretty good, we're almost to the base, it's legit right there, um, just, like, debating on how I should, park it like do i just do i just land it or do i just like uh park it next to the cliffside you know like like how do you park th something like this it is a floating island with a head and legs that, oh my god that's literally what this thing is you know what you, oh my god, you're bigger than my farm. Let's just land you here. Uh, this... Can you rotate in place? Yes. Just give you time and you'll rotate. That means... You know what? Should I? I probably could. Here. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I want up, 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 up. Not land. No, up. Not land. Up. Not land. This thing does not understand what I am telling it to do. Also, it, it definitely moves like an island. 
She handles like a beef stroll, but she flies like... I can't even remember what that line was. I was trying to do a Zap Brannigan. I can't even remember what he says. It's been so long since I watched... Since I watched Futurama. I haven't even watched... Gotta watch the new seasons yet. That's the sad part. I just fell off the back of it. Ow. That kind of hurt. Okay, now... We gotta feed it. He's starving. I can't forget to feed him. Technically, I think he is eating off of our feeding trough. I might be wrong. I am. He is starving like a bull. My poor boy is starving. I gotta force feed him. Now, technically, yes, he is allowed to eat berries now. But, unfortunately, he does not manually eat them. So, I gotta sit here and go. He's almost full. He's halfway. And boom. Also, uh, you definitely need movement speed. You fly like an island. Also, the the rock crack. <laughs> this is this looks awesome. I would send this to someone. They probably wouldn't even know it was on the back of a creature. That is the best part. Also, it even has a head, and sometimes I forget about that. It is just... Sometimes you just forget that it, this is a creature. But it's a floating island on the back of a creature that can fly. It's it's part of the... What was it? It's an insect, I guess. It's part of the shell. Is that what this would be? Would this be an insect? I guess, like, some form of crustacean, maybe? Or, you know what it is? Something like the Desert Titan. It's a Titan. I don't know. I don't know. But if you guys have actually, like, looked into the Ark lore and all of the yacht, uh, the Titans are what destroyed Earth, essentially, from what I understand. All, well, they arose from the element corruption and destroyed the Earth, if I'm correct. But the element corruption is really what did it in, in the Civil War. That caused all the element corruption. Alrighty now guys. So I have been just looking more into the Oasis Sore here. Um, and I guess leveling it should be fairly decent. I think it's they said like a thousand every health. I don't want to put any more into his health though. Because that's going to drain his food rapidly. So I mean it should be pretty decent via health. I don't know, though, with my stats, because I do have the dino stats changed up. But, yeah. Um, Food-wise, he should be good. And, yeah. Also, you may notice now, he doesn't have any trees. Well, I cleaned out his uh, inventory here. But now he's producing silk, so I think a bush has popped up somewhere. He's got one silk produced. He should produce that faster than now, as well, thanks to the the mod so he should generate resources pretty fast but he's good on food he's good on that now technically again he is gonna be my tech base so I am gonna hold off on building anything on him I wish I could just cryo him for safety but I guess his drag weights too big for cryopods or or I'm hitting I'm not hitting his uh, this is gonna hurt what the hell oh found it I I uh I magically was walking on air maybe if I could go up to a foot no I run up to your foot and hit E though and I can alrighty yeah anyways no crowd puts for you what do you I honestly got spaced off like what wyvern is this this is the baby I just got I don't even know if I want to hang on to you because you were legit just spread up for uh for this your job was to tame this guy. Do you get any bonuses for coming out of him? Shoot buffs. You get guiles and braves. Getting everything your change. No younglings can die here, I guess. Who's getting hit with the sword? You are. You are. Oh. 
he's clipping with the oasis or also I'm starving I should probably pay attention to the food and yeah I know I'm just trying to eliminate this baby wyvern because I don't need it come on thank you now you're probably not clipping thank you thank you you I didn't mean for you to get hurt so much he was actually getting hit from that actively and I'm so sorry about that But yeah, um, I'm thinking this is probably going to be it for now. I just want to show you guys where you sit in this thing. And I find it pretty awesome. Look, we're just chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling back in the p pond. I don't know if you can have other riders in here with you. I think you can. But in terms of like actual like seating for something like that. That's actually pretty funny. That is just like, yeah, you sit right there. But this guy looks awesome. It's weird, though, having him have nothing on top. I wonder if, though, if it's... Um, I wonder if it works like the Mega Shalon from in the previous game. So now, I should also remember, Wyverns take fall damage. Don't let that guy fall. He could take fall damage. So now, if I grab some thatch and wood, can I force him to appear with trees? It's just a question. But I must have answers. Oh, okay. That was like worst case scenario. I bounced twice. So if I just... I can't even... Oh, alrighty. That answered my question. I can't even give him it. I just have to wait for him to produce it for trees to come back. So, I might have to wait a couple hours here before I can get a thumbnail for this video. So, I best get back to working on the, the farm here. My Morala tops are almost done. My Jeroboa, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, the Jeroboa, all they need... Also, this is the wrong... I got this stuff out of here. The Jeroboa, all they need is their stamina to be leveled out. It's like legit, I'm going to go for the lower option in stamina. And they're done. Vultures, I, I legit said, nah, I'm done with. And I haven't done anything else with the Thorny Dragon since last episode. So, I, uh, I really just kind of went and looked for mods after that last episode. Saw that Oasisaur one and kind of said, you know what, let's just go for it. I need an episode for tomorrow. So, yay. And this is what we got. We got this guy. You look awesome, though. Alright. The... Oh, my. That is, like... You ever seen Independence Day and the aliens from it? <laughs> like, just full-on looking up at that thing. That's the first thing that came to mind. I'm not joking. That's the first thing that came to my mind, looking up at this thing and seeing the face. It's just, like, one of those aliens, because, uh... I just remember, like, it's the doctor scene. They're in there, and they're doing the interrogation, and then the room all of a sudden fogs up. Or they're doing the dissection, and then the alien springs back to life, and it just it has the doctor, and he's using the doctor to talk to everyone. And it's just that face there. That's what that reminded me of, was that alien's face. But sadly, that is going to be it for this episode. I wanted to get something special out for you guys because we did hit 2,000 subs. Now, originally, I wanted to make my own mod. And what the plan for that mod was, was it was going to be an Oasisaur mod. But I was going to do it like the Titan better Titanosaurus mod. Now, uh, what that does is it adds in uh, more Titanosaur variants. I wasn't going to do that. That's like the main thing it does. But what it adds in is Titanosaurs all the way up to 150. And it adds in breeding. Now, I have come to a decision. Why do I have to deal with a sandstorm right as I'm doing my outro every time? I did come to the decision that I am going to also be removing better titanosaurs. Just because. Now, the only reason the oasisaur is getting its mod kept in is because that one actually makes this thing. It gives this thing fixes it needs at the moment. One of is less time for single player. And maybe they might add breeding in. I don't know. If they do, I guess that's a plus. Um, we'll probably do it. 
I don't know about titanosaurs though. That uh, maybe not. I know because I'm second guessing it because that is something that they might add in for this. It is a brand new mod. I was looking at it like, yeah, but who knows? Uh, things can change. But one thing that is not going to change is my posting schedule. So if you guys have found anything, or if you guys have at any point liked this video, please do to remember to. I can't even talk in these anymore. So if you guys have found yourself at any point liking these videos, please remember to leave a like and subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell. It's really hard to talk over this damn sandstorm. Also, if you guys don't know, I am currently running a sub goal and a membership goal. So for the sub goal, we are currently trying to reach 10,000 subs this year. We just hit our goal of 2,000 and that was perfect. I absolutely still believe that we have enough time in this year to hit that goal of 10,000. I believe we can do it. And yeah, also if you guys want to go above being just subscribers, I am running that membership goal. We're currently trying to reach 10 YouTube channel members. Once we hit that goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server for everyone to play on. And uh, we're still debating though on whether or not that's going to be private or public. Private for the YouTube channel members or public just to anyone who watches my videos. But yeah, anyways, this has been Gunshot Mori signing off. Peace.